the fire hall. Welcome back to Steve's World of Wonders. The 2015 Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded jointly to Dr. Arthur B. MacDonald and Dr. Takeki Kajita for the discovery of neutrino oscillations, which shows, shows that neutrinos have mass. This revolutionary work redefined, redefined the basic laws of particle physics and confirmed the detailed understanding of how the sun burns. The Nobel Prize was established in 1901. Dr. MacDonald is the fourth Canadian 
and first faculty member of Queen's University to receive the Nobel Prize in Physics. In December 2015, Dr. MacDonald traveled to Sweden to receive the Nobel Prize Medal from the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. And there's the Nobel Prize there. The medal depicts Alfred Nobel, 1833 to 1896, who bequeathed the bulk of his fortune to honor outstanding contributions to humanity. The inscription on the reverse of the medal for physics taken from Virgil's Aeneid reads, Investus vidam lupat excluis per artis, which means loosely translated, and they who bettered life on earth for their newly found mastery. This is Etherington House. The Agnes Etherington Art Center owes its existence to the foresight of Agnes McCausland Etherington, whose maiden name was Richardson, 1880 to 1954 was her lifespan, who was born and lived all her life in this house an avid promoter of the arts at Queens and in the Kingston community, Etherington bequeathed her home to fulfill a long-held desire for a local art gallery. The Agnes Etherington Art Center opened on the 12th of October 1957. With its balanced proportions, full height paneling, dental cornice, and parquet flooring, the drawing room exudes the classical elegance of Neo-Georgian architecture. This style carries over to the furniture and fixtures. Most of the objects on display were originally owned by Agnes Etherington and can be seen in photographs taken shortly after her death. Her taste differed from that of her parents, who preferred the dark, ornately carved furniture of High Victorianism.
earlier fort was built here on Port Henry during the War Point Henry during the War of 1812, primarily to defend the nearby naval dockyard. When the Rideau Canal was built as part of a military route connecting Kingston with Montreal, the strategic importance of this site increased. The old fort was therefore replaced by the present structure of a stronger and more advanced design which was completed in 1836 at a cost of 70,000 pounds. Garrisoned by units of the British and then the Canadian Army until 1890, the fort never saw action. Although it was used as a prison for rebels captured during the rebellions of 1837 to 1838. Steve's World of Wanders in Kingston. If you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified of more, hit the notification bell symbol. Bye for now.